Hi and welcome back to another episode of Life is Strange. And I'm just still a little bit shocked from the last one. Now, what is the next chapter we're going into here? Dark Room. What does that even mean? What does anything mean? Where is this, where is this game heading? It's showing us so many interesting paths and people and where is it all gonna collide? I guess we're just gonna jump into this episode here and uh, see where we're going next. Let's go. What is Max thinking? She must be freaking out right now. Oh, let me just make sure the sound is good as well. Some little crab. Oh, it's behind my camera. It's cute. What day is it even? Isn't episode one day? Is that what we're dealing with? Like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then the last episode is like Friday when the storm's gonna happen. The whales. Animals do tend to act weird before a storm sometimes, you know? Like fleeing it or, you know, maybe the whales were fleeing the storm that's coming. But going here instead. Dark room. I know a dark room is used for photography, right? To, to, you know? I, I don't have the right words for this. Oh god. Here we go. Let's walk along the beach where all the dead whales are. What are you gonna say? It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me the actual letters. fine, right? It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't See you like this? Bitchy way. Not totally. Oh, you would have, Dollar, you would have probably wanted in a to avoid awkward way. conversations like this. Uh, pretty much. Honestly, yeah. honestly, sometimes uh, conversations that uh, just bring up what's happening and that it's awkward sometimes, things like that, at least for me, makes me relax more. Address the awkwardness, and then you're like, okay, we got that out of the way. Now let's just have the real talk. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? How long has Max been gone since this happened, though? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. Hmm. Kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. Hmm. Interesting how she's happy to be alive here. You're a real here. survivor, Chloe. But in the other one, she isn't really. I know you have to enjoying deal being alive so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Ah. Oh. Um. I want to talk about the accident. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. Mm. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. Was he paralyzed from the neck down? When I woke down? up in the hospital, I... Literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. Or maybe I, not, I, I since she can move say. the. Don't say anything. She can move the chair. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing. But she's out of the strapped room, around like here as well. Room. Maybe she has some filling in her fingers. Uh, I'm gonna ask what's, what, what missing girl. Missing we don't know if it's Rachel. I don't know her name. I just read about it in the news. I feel bad for her family. This is. Such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? <laughs> After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the so world. So the snow and eclipse has happened here too. Um, you think? Do you think so? I uh, haven't kept up with the details. I have more time on my hands than you. 
Plus, I'm a science nerd. Mm. But none of this makes sense. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. I feel very afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. I wonder Max, why Max didn't see her and Thanks for coming out to see me. Both of these situations. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Like um, Max is avoiding my, tough my nose things. Is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place. It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. Wait, didn't she use Hella a lot as the other her other self? Oh, it's so interesting though. I honestly I could watch a movie of this game. That would have been interesting. Her dad is still alive. I wonder if Chloe, if asked about which life she would rather have, I wonder what she would have answered. Oh, it's a pretty high tech layer. Feels like a high tech. Would she have like would she have her dad back in alive and be in a wheelchair and barely be able to do anything, or would she like to be in the reality we were in, where dad is gone but she's free to be a free spirit and move and you know run and not depend on anybody because as i said in the beginning it seemed like she was happy to be there with max and in the reality we were in she didn't really seem happy about anything she seemed to be very conflicted about a lot of things and unable to see the good in things so yeah i don't know yeah, no. it's interesting but i am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me i know it's hard for them they're great so that's also why david madsen is driving a bus because he was right. never here Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. <laughs> That's kind of nice. Pathetic, I know. No. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive. When you don't even have to be. Yeah, this is... Trust me, I still get my rage on. It's... Especially when a nurse has to... <laughs> Sorry, I'm pausing it. It's, kind of, it's so interesting to see her because it is like... She's similar to the Chloe we had, but also very different. It's like a different person, but then also it's the same. I know you you guys get it, but watch while I take a it's dump weird so she to can me. wipe my bum, or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you can you bring me some water? Wow. And the room is so different. The room is totally different. If this e is even the same room that she had. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. Yeah. I wonder what the powers wanted to show you or if it even wanted to show you this. Chloe's message board since the accident sure looks lonely. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. Chloe, you know we love you and you're in our hearts and thoughts. We hope to see your smiling face soon. Please be well, Ryan and Nessa Caulfield. Thinking of you. I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. Dear Chloe, I'm so sorry for what happened. Know that... I am here for you if you need anything. I hope you feel better and I hope to see you again. Megan. This is XOXO Megan at the bottom. I mean, you can see it here too, but like I was trying to be nice. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. Chloe, just thought I'd drop you a quick note to let you know I'm thinking about you. I feel so lame writing shit like I hope you are well, etc. I know your life is so different now, and I don't want that to get in the way of our relationship. Yes, I haven't been around lately, but that will change soon. I hope you are well. Love, Max. 
Is this before she moved back to go to school here? At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. Oh, that's just Chloe. such a cute selfie. I'm that's sure that made her such feel a great. fun t-shirt. I think that mattered to her. Man, Gas Joyce and William optional. built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Yeah, mouse control joystick. There's the old Chloe. Max, it is so cool that you're here again. Get the water's I'm there. I'm glad you think so. Snow globes are taking over. Hmm. That's cute. Oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything I'm changed. It's weird saying snow dough. Teddy bear. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals. Oh, now. that's the thing that was on her t shirt uh, in the photograph. That's a serious heat lamp. Hmm. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. I think a lot of people, I don't know, because I I haven't this like I haven't ended up in a wheelchair or lost a limb or anything like that. I wonder. I understand. I think the pity that Chloe was talking about. I like we've seen movies and nobody likes being pitied. And myself dealing with depression throughout my life and having different kind of challenges. You know, everybody has challenges in their lives, right? Some bigger, some smaller. Some seem bigger to you than if another person had gone through the same thing. As a person who feel a lot what others feel and I try to at least understand where people are coming from. I feel like I do a pretty good job at understanding. I think sometimes when you think people pity you, I think just a person don't want to be looked down on for the situation they're in, right? At least I've felt that. I felt that people have looked down on me because of my health issues and both physical and mental. But I don't look down on myself. So when it seems like people are pitying me, I don't think they're... I haven't really felt like people are pitying me. But I have felt that people look down on me because they feel like I could do more with, I don't know, with anything. And they take my words as complaints when it's more, to me, it's more like factual. But now I think I'm getting lost on what I'm talking about. I think for me, if I see another person who's lost a limb or are in a wheelchair or something, I feel not pity. I just, I think I just want to help. I just want to make people's lives easier. Just like I want sometimes people to make my life easier and not solve something for me, but be there for me and listen. I kind of get tired of people trying to solve my issues because some issues aren't solvable. And I think I wouldn't want to solve Chloe's predicament, but I also wouldn't be able to not think about how her life could be if she wasn't in a wheelchair. I mean, in this game, you could see her life uh, what if she's not in a wheelchair, but... So myself, I feel sad that they've lost something. If you're deaf or if you are mute, I don't know the right word for that, but like if you can't talk or if you can't see, I feel sad that they've lost something. But I don't go around pitying people. But maybe it's the same thing. I don't know. I don't think it's the same thing, but some people might see it as the same thing. But in the end, I think I just, I just want people to be happy. <laughs> That's kind of a big thing for me. I just, I love seeing people happy. Yeah, I like seeing other people's joy. Okay, I think I should stop here because I don't know where I'm going with this. I just, um, sometimes I end up having these real serious conversations. And uh, yeah, I don't know if it's right to talk about or not, but I felt like talking about it. <laughs> so I did. Okay, let's continue. <sighs> and the game fucked up again. Why does this happen? Hey guys, I have really bad news for this episode. As you saw just now, my game did the freezing thing again, where it just jumps into the menu and I'm not allowed to leave the menu. The thing is, I fixed that and then, or I reloaded the game, played through the section that I lost, and then I played another 30 minutes or so, and then my whole computer crashed. I have suspicions that it was my, I had high GPU and CPU usage on this game, and that's why everything just crashed. I 
it just basically overloaded my computer. But that also means I lost 30 minutes of footage because when OBS 4 closes and if you record with um, MP4, then you lose that footage, which um, I kind of knew, but I, I didn't. I haven't had this issue for a long time where I lose a footage. And back then I streamed on Twitch at the same time usually and I could use the footage from Twitch to replace the footage that I lost. Well, this time I'm not able to do that because I'm not streaming on Twitch right now for a period of time. So my footage is lost. The 30 minutes I played was lost. So if you've played this game before, if you know what happens next about 30 minutes, then uh, I'm just gonna let you know where I stopped recording. Yes, I will replay the part that I lost only to let you guys know what decisions I made. Even if there will be no surprises for me, I will let you know my thoughts during those 30 minutes and what I did in those 30 minutes of gameplay. Now I have fixed the GPU problem I think so we shouldn't have any more game crashes but I can't promise that OBS won't freeze but I'm now recording with MKV which means if I lose or if something crashes the game or OBS or my computer or whatever happens I should still be able to keep the footage recorded because it's recorded in a different way so there shouldn't be any more footage lost I might have to replay sections in the game if the game crashes again but again I think I fixed the problem with the GPU and CPU usage so hopefully no more problems but yes, I will now go and replay the parts that we lost. So I'm gonna replay that, but I will cut a lot of the in-between parts down so oh and another thing the rambling that I just did in the game when I listened back to it it's very unfocused which is basically how my brain works I jump from one theme to another and then I don't think I actually got my point across and right now I don't really remember what I said because I looked at this yesterday but yeah just uh ignore that maybe or I'll cut that out I can't I don't feel like cutting it out of the video either I felt like talking about it I remember saying that and I did and then it just didn't make a lot of sense to me what I said when I listened to it back and probably didn't make sense to you either. Anyway, I'm gonna now go and record the next part here. I'll catch up with you after we've caught up. Okay, I think I looked at most of the things that I did the first time. I don't know if it matters or not, but I just did it. But this I I'm don't think I we looked photo. at. Chloe has a new memory of William and her together. Uh, but of course when I the in the 30 minutes of footage that I lost I did look at this and yes I really like this photo and that she took that photo and it's nice and then I think You're really my only friend who kept in touch I think I, I should have kept more in touch the one thing I didn't do is look at the computer that is so incredible and she can browse cat videos on the web. And I think I said that's the most important thing you could do, right? Oh, cat videos. Chloe can totally control her Still computer. Still cats, right? It's so great people get this high-tech help. And I think I used Chloe the computer as well. At heart, but she can't stage dive anymore. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. Yeah, and I did read through this as well. Just go quickly through this. Let's just do that. Here you go. Freeze it if you need to read this. But I have already read through this. So I don't feel like there's a point for me going through it again. I mean, okay. And one thing I actually didn't do last time was look at the water. Instead of handing Chloe a bong, I'm feeding her water. Did I give her a choice? So... Yeah, I didn't do that last time. I didn't look at that. But I did it just now before because I forgot that I didn't do it. So, okay. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I think we... Well, the drift... That must be that. your mighty morphine machine. Yeah. Let's just give it a water now. Drink up, buttercup. Oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit. And we do me. learn that she has some like lung problems, enough. which we'll check out Seems once like we leave the kids room. In life. I think I ask what do you remember? What do you remember yes. about us as kids? Because, yeah, because I thought, like, memories. she had to double check that they have the same memory. Running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. Me too. It's going to be a little bit of a struggle but for me to remember what choices I did, but I'm going to... If I stick with my gut, I should yeah, be right. answering the same check thing. Check me out, Chloe right? of the Caribbean. No way will I get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. 
As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends I really away. don't have a good sitting position today. Uh, I think I asked which friends? Which friends did you hang out with the most? Megan Weaver, but you don't know her. Mm, I did answer that. She was cool. But after my accident, she was too cool for school. I know I wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. But and I, I think I said to make yes, you fun. are. Not that she's How? a loser, but she Seems doesn't have an excuse max. for not checking not in with her best friends. That's what my parents are for. Oh, what did I ask here? Are you lonely? Yeah, I think I asked, are you lonely? I know this is a dumb question, but are you lonely here? Yes, dumb question. Yeah, I did answer that. I don't mind being alone. Okay, my memory isn't I that terrible. Exactly go party like a rock star, though. Or get an 18 trouble with the folks. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. Uh, and then I ask, can they pay, I believe? Can they pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. And then I said, holy shit. <laughs> You're priceless. <laughs> Something along those lines. That's uh, a lot of money. No pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> What do you want to watch? Uh, Oof. I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Yes, and then we get to go through some drawers, and the movies and stuff is over here, but we were able to go in here as well. I don't remember Despite exactly everything, right now what's in here, They're still but. a happy family again. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating too. We'll just quickly go through it. Wow, sir. Chloe was a straight A student. She could have gone to any college. I'm not that what tired, I swear. I totally should have let Chloe steal your bullshit fund. Even if it wasn't another reality. Yes, again, I'm not gonna read through this again. But if you want to see what this says, just freeze the video right now and go through it. But I won't read through this again. It's too much sex. It's annoying. Do you think we can check? No, we can't check out that yet. Okay. We can check Nothing out these. medical supplies. And this one... She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. Then I went through these and got the video. Aha, uh -huh. here's the DVD. And I did check out the other drawer too first. Oh my god, I made that mix for her when we were 12. It's really cute. Uh, I think we're good to put the DVD in. And then they fell asleep, or at least Max did. God, I'm cold today. I'm really chilly. But honestly, though, the last episode I recorded and this part I also went through was probably some of the ones that shocked me so the most. Fast. How dare you? 
I know you were beat down. After I mean, you saw it last movie. episode, but and this Blade one is a pretty dreamy movie. To also, watch was just uh, do you do you think Deckard kind of crazy? Him? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry. I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. <laughs> Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again, it meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. And I believe I said something along the lines of... I don't feel like Max should be putting needles into her or something because she's not a medical professional or her parents probably know how to do that. Um, but it turns out all right, so it's not a big deal. <laughs> yeah, and I'll just quickly go through some of the things I did in here because I did look at a lot of stuff. I looked at this paper. Damn, this is just for Chloe's basic supplies. And again, here's the information. And then I looked at the Eiffel Tower, which um, oh, sure. that's great. Just they went to, went to Paris. Yeah, that was really cool. And then I did look through the messages. Can I? Hello? I just got a message. Can I not look at my phone? I just got a message from Victoria. Are you kidding me? Can I get a message again? Yeah, look at it now. That's annoying. Because I did look at it. Hmm. They gave Chloe their giant expensive HDTV. And they use her shitty tube television. Yes. Uh, look at the car keys. To think that our destiny is linked to goddamn car keys. Yep, 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 yep. Then I think I looked at the newspaper and stuff. These whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. And the Prescott Foundation? Jesus. You can read through this if you want to. Just pause the video and read. Rachel Amber is even missing in this reality. I guess I can't change everything. You know the drill. Read if you want. Don't if you don't. And I don't think I talked to him yet. I looked through all of the other stuff here first. Choice is a food coupon, boss. And I said something like, yeah, they would have to with all the bills they're having now. You would have anymore. to be smart with the way you... Now it's back to cookies. Spend money. I think that's it from... God, the camera turns slow here. No, maybe... There's this as well. Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. They're drowning in debt. Just to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. There you go. And... This as well. Can I look at my phone now? Nope. Still can't look. Oh, okay. I guess we can't see the Victoria text this time. Uh, and look at this. They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. That's terrible. There you go. Hey, William. Now let's talk to him again. Let's you? see if I remember oh, yes, what I love we said. Going through bills. <laughs> I think we Kidding. said everything that we How can you bother could me? have options for. I haven't for. seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> It's so cool. Good. Or I'd be a scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Uh, let's see. I think... I mean, we ask everything. So, so. you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak French. Me but neither. it was a great experience. Especially for Chloe. I can see her loving it there. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there. But that's not practical anymore. 
It's not fair, Max. Uh, let's just ask Joyce. Being around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? Uh, right. I, I think we ask all of these things, too. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil? Evil. Next question. Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. And then it. I was like, oh, she's not working at the diner? She's working for them? And I found that interesting. I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber. And Rachel oh, Amber is yeah, missing in both the realities. Right? Oh, poor thing. Which I also find interesting, because things are I different. I scared thinking about students. Chloe and that we might lose her someday. Crazy what do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus-type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. Uh... Okay, room. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but I... Uh, I don't know, Max. Yeah. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. Like, really These hard. These are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. The price is always right. Get it? No? I don't know how to say this, but I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. Um... And I think I said glad you're here, because I don't really want to make this about me. So I think that's what I said. She is amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her. And be her father. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe if I wasn't here. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. You act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. Well, I do know it's gonna be the last time, so... It's kinda... Yeah. But I was surprised at how quick it was, and like, before she turned back time again. Or went back in time to just... Yeah. Um, and that's where I stopped the episode. So, right, there's a couple rooms here. Um, I think I went into Joyce's room first. So I went down here. Oh, no, I don't want to turn back time. I'm just trying to go faster. Look at the window. Apparently the only thing that hasn't changed is this view. And then I went into the room and talked to Joyce. I looked at all of the stuff in here as well, even though oh, she's Max, in the room. Max, it is so nice to have you around. Look at them. They have no idea what's in their future. That is such a sweet shot of Chloe. I wonder who took the picture. And I might open the drawer as well. No Lee shame. He's trying so hard. He's still awesome. Super dead. And this is where you see the letter from the doctor, I believe. Oh no. I or didn't tell realize so how bad. bad Chloe's entry really was. Yeah, and that made me really, really like sad. Like because that makes you know that like in this reality. Even though William is alive, Chloe probably don't have long left to live as well. So it's kind of sad and interesting, like how the choice of Max just rewinding time just uh, did that. Huh. Joyce used to hate smokers in the diner. It's good for Chloe to stay in touch with her friends. Uh, and now I open a drawer. Joyce is already a super mom. And I talked to Joyce. Good morning, Max. 
Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. I think I ask all the things. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max. You're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. Mm, I think I said, I hope so. I hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do so much, and she gets damn sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. I her read. respiratory system is very weak, and she... she do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <sighs> Choice. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one. No matter what. Yeah. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie. It's difficult. But nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. Uh, I, I asked about Do David you know Madsen. somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two wheels. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Ugh. Oh, um, I, w I was just curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. Uh, so, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco-havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. God, I'm so, so yawny today. Care. Oh For my Chloe's god. Sake. Plus, you guys have to work too. Ah, uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. We're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I, we're lucky to have him. Um, William's still the same, Chloe and William. Oh, what did I answer here? I think Chloe and William. Chloe and William seem like they still get along so good. Yeah, those two are closer now more than Yeah, ever. I think that's what I answered. Chloe will actually listen to William while she usually ignores me. Oh, it's so cute when they gang up on poor old me. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. Mm. You too, honey. Oh, man, I'm about to fall asleep playing at the computer this morning. I know. Things aren't as neat and tidy as they used to be. Yeah, I did um, address that when I went up to the second floor here, how everything se seems like darker and, I don't know, like just, yeah, a little bit darker and stuff. It's all about you, Arcadia Bay, isn't um, it? And then I went into Chloe's bedroom, which is here. Uh, I took a look at a few things in here. Oyster. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. Sure it is. I guess we stopped growing up together. We got a letter. I never heard much about William's brother. So if you want to read that, here you go. Uh, box. Shoes. <laughs> Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. They bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. 
There you go. Uh, and then I think I just sat down for a little bit and let her have her inner monologue. Ugh. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. And I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. But then I see that they're a family again, and who am I to judge? Alright, and then the last thing is just to go into the bathroom and get the medication. Don't think there was anything else, else out here. How's it going, Time Tripper? Funny. I think I look old. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Yeah. I don't think anybody plans for anything, something like that. Almost the same. Just more medicine. I looked in the drawers. Nothing here. And look at this. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. I think that's what you can look at in here, if I'm not wrong. So, and I turned off the light, and then I went back downstairs. And then we'll just administer the morphine. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. And then of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. We had this serious you conversation, I believe. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please. My diary is like emo ground zero. Yeah, and especially it, Max Caulfield it makes does not sense. pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. It makes sense Ever. that she asks for this photo album because the next thing she's going to ask us is to make her overdose so she can die. At and, least uh, Chloe doesn't wait Makes sense she much. wants to look at some old memories before taking her last breath. Oh, man. She has to use that ventilator just to breathe. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo. Mm, and now we see the photo. Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory and system we go. is failing, and uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying... That being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible. And you made me feel that way today. 
I want this time with you to be my last memory. I think here is where I yes, saw where this was I going. Do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. And I said that it's not fair to ask your best friend to kill you. Because that's just... It's insane. Like, I would... That's... I understand that she can't do it herself, right? Because she can't move. But, no, the trauma of killing your best friend? No, like... Max is gonna struggle enough as it is to see this moment and remember this moment, even if it's not in her reality. To ask her to remember this moment as the day she killed her best friend in this reality is just insane. So I did say refuse here. Chloe. I can't. It wrecks me to see you. But honestly, pain. if I was in Chloe's position, I don't have any right to do I probably this. would I'm ask the same thing. Honestly, I'm giving you the right. But Joyce, so I totally get it. I'm but working. I, I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will, right? I, I can't kill you with an overdose. Maybe the other Max, if they Max, ever I'm meet up, from my the Max illness, who belongs to this place. Maybe she will this do accelerates it. Accelerates the process. But it's not up to our I'd Max to do it. On a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you, but not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Why, Max? You're just bailing on me like everybody else. Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go and don't come back. Chloe. I am never leaving you again. But we are, though. So. <laughs> um, I think... Yeah. I'm sorry, William. We now go back. And we don't get to see the Victoria messages, I guess, on the phone. But, well, that's fine. Because I did read through the, all the messages, so I guess you have to find a different playthrough for that. Um, alright, let's go back. Someday dad will get one of them newfangled computers. And the flash didn't scare you. This this is a keeper. Is where it crashed, I believe. So I don't I haven't seen anything past this point of the game. Hello. Nothing past hey, here. Honey. So what? finally we're caught up. Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear job. Oh, I did say don't burn that. It's so it's so it's such a nice picture but you did burn it <laughs> aha you can't hide from me forever and no chloe and max wine tasting session dad don't blow it because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert max you'll be here too right she's never leaving me that except she all did all. she did leave after this That's such a tough Max, thing to do. Max, you're being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. She won't. I mean, for Chloe, a while, and she won't I'm see so William sorry. again. I'm sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I. You should tell the future her try. that. You should tell her I'm that. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on, you have made things different. Like my whole life, you're my best friend. Oh, she's I've so got sweet. you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens... Can she change something by strong. saying these things? Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. Because she is saying things I'll differently than she back. would have. Always. Could have a small change, maybe. Who knows how much words can matter. So now we get this future back.
I think the, the ones that burn away are the futures that wasn't happening. Or I think that's what happened last time that... Yeah, these pictures are burning away, these pictures are staying. The last time I think these pictures burned and it was the other way around. So this never happened because Chloe didn't have a car crash. And that's Rachel, maybe? Yeah, and this didn't happen. I didn't really pay much attention to the photos, and I don't know if some of these are added, because I don't I feel like I never saw some of these. Because they would have spoiled things, right? What's this? What's this? Is her room looking different again? Chloe, you're back. Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss. We're in this, the me? same reality we were I'm in, just... right? Like the I'm just I'm so the original glad you're one. Here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. You should Max, tell did her you though. Forget we've gone over this. I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. She was. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. I don't think I can ever tell Chloe about what happened. You should, though. It might give her some peace of mind. Maybe. So they put out the board together. Um, I think I'm gonna leave this episode here, though. I know it's... I don't know how short this episode is in general but it's gonna be annoying to edit so just gonna leave it here and we'll pick up here on the next one